I don't remember if we did all of the first game, but we did a good amount. We may have done all the different routes that were in there. Not all the endings, that's for sure. But I think we did all the, the, the main playthrough experience. Pretty sure. Yeah, I believe, if I remember right, Scorn was like... Everything's kind of Giger-esque, but the actual gameplay was just like... Just unintuitive Nightmare Land. Cthulhu, Haster, and Catgirl, yeah. I'm pretty sure we did all three of those in the first game. Alright, Peglin. On the main character, we're up to Crucible 8. We've gotten, um... The Spinventor up to 2. Yeah, Nyanlithep. What they did for 2 makes you motion sick? Ah, but you'll be able to watch it. All right, maybe we'll do the Baladin. Start each run with plus one pebble. Pebbles have minus zero, minus one. You start with ball warp equal to the number of orbs in your deck or two times your orb's largest base damage, whichever is higher. Look around for the, oh, there's a moving around segment, huh? They went from a normal visual novel to trying to be a bit more in the, uh, in the Persona category, maybe? You know what? Let's go with the round room. Attack supply random debuffs. More like point and click move through rooms. Oh. I'll have to see it, but I think I know what you're talking about. But with the fishbowl effect with turning. Is it kind of like, um... Like older, older adventure games and dungeons? Attack supply spin faction? Oh my goodness. Perfect. Like Legends of Grimrock style? Like... But yeah, uh, I mentioned a couple of the things, but also I've been wanting to do, I think it's Casey's mod, right? Like the, we went through artifacts, it was not artifacts, inscription. Inscription was a great time, really enjoyed it. But we never did the roguelike version because when we did it's so hard. I look forward to uh, seeing how hard it gets. When we did Inscription, it was uh, not out yet. It didn't have the mod. I'm excited to check it out. Take that. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun to take a peek at. Maybe we'll finally do a collaboration with Mr. Clancy that we've been threatening to do. Play one of the awful Resident Evil games. The multiplayer 5 and 6 experience. Been threatening to do that for a long time. The real horror game is going to be, of course, playing uh, fucking satisfactory with him. It'll be a horror experience for him, not for me. It'll just be normal for me. Yeah, Resident Evil 5 and 6. Been wanting to play that with him for a long time. But also, watching him slowly lose his mind by playing Satisfactory with me would be good, too. Perfect. Perfection. 
It would be nice to play five and six. They are the holes in my Resident Evil experience. I've played through most Resident Evil games, but I haven't played through five and six. Every eighth one becomes a peg. I'm really interested in just getting different debuffs to apply to enemies. <clears throat> I think that's what this deck's going to be about. So, a little bit more spin faction. Let's look at the map first, though. We could do... Elite, chest, chest, shop, question mark, chest. That's probably our most... most amount of relics we could get. We have another elite over here, but I feel like the double chest with an elite this this little threefer here with a shop to follow up that's the way to go i think and then another chest so it doesn't matter if i go left or right from here but maybe we'll go uh i think i'm gonna go right we'll do question mark question mark we'll hit a skull and then we'll just hard left the whole way down so uh yeah to the right the shop's pretty far away, so I will spend money on this. Get a little extra money. Do, 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 do. Alright, wall bounces contribute to damage. Deal 20 times the number of reloads. Damage to all enemies when reloading. <clears throat> Board contains an additional refresh. None of these are particularly on brand, so I don't really mind where we go. Sure. Oh, hell. Oreos are addictive. Ha has anyone tried them yet? I gotta ask. Has you, have you, anyone tried the Coke Oreos? There's a crossover right now. You can get Oreos that are Coca-Cola flavored and you get Coca-Cola that's Oreo flavored. I have not tried either one. I only just found out about it. I will make it my mission to find them now. Because what horrors have we wrought? Has man's hubris gone too far? Sounds weird. I imagine the Oreos probably taste fine. The Coke probably tastes horrible. But I must try both. You didn't grab one? You better hope they're still there when you're back. The real Spooktober was the corporate crossovers all along. I love weird novelty food shit. I just, I can't help myself. Novelty seeking behavior is something I definitely have. Red Hot Oreo? Oh, I don't know if I would like that. But it has to be better than, like, the horrible Berry Blast Oreos. Cannot activate money. Multiplies the coin on each unique coin hit by two. Deals one times the amount of money held. I've never had the Spiggy Bank. The Spinny Bank. Pass through pegs while traveling upward. Attacks all enemies. Ooh, Swedish fish. I, I do like Swedish fish. And the Oreos weren't that bad. I've had those. Berry Blast Oreo is the worst Oreo I've ever had. This isn't on brand for what we're trying to do, i.e. a deck of status effects, debuffs on the enemy. But that said, I've never had it before, and I crave getting all the exclamation marks out of the way. So I think we're going to take the spinny bank. Two times your money. Might be interesting. It'll bounce off money. Yeah, sure. 
How long do we have before the shop? We have we have quite the journey before the shop, so let's go for upgrading our spin faction. Get a little bit more money. And now we want to go left exclusively from here. Bah! Four more bats have to come out. <laughs> Something I've been a little curious about recently, and I think a big part of it is, again, visiting family, but being with, like, my niece and nephew, who are seven and ten. And, like, ten was around when I was super obsessed with Goosebumps. I wonder if there's any merit to rereading Goosebumps as an adult. I doubt it's going to be satisfying. But I'm kind of curious. Has anyone has anyone tried? Has anyone reread their Goosebumps as adults? There were weirder things I read as a, a kid that I might want to re revisit. <laughs> no. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Damn it. Just watch the show? Disgusting. Not that I dislike the show or anything. I read every single one, god damn it. Every one. New Goosebumps Day was like a fucking holiday for me. Yeah, I'm sure they hold up for what they were. Ooh, we got the card for Batty. fifth grade reading level, like whatever reading level Animorphs and um... Oh, what was the other book series I read a lot of? Can't remember the name of it. I remember like the storylines a lot. It was a pretty dark book series for a kid. Hold on, I gotta look up the one I'm talking about. The one I just said was kind of a dark one for kids. Spooksville! The series was Spooksville. Spooksville was great. Love Spooksville. As a kid, it was Animorphs, Goosebumps, Fear Street, Spooksville. And one other series that I really can't remember the name of right now. That was about weird monsters. You read Animorphs? Nice. Animorphs was great. Animorphs was great. Redwall, I did read Redwall as a kid. But Redwall came a little later on for me, weirdly. But everyone loves Redwall. I don't want any of these. Might just hold on to money, maybe. The door to somewhere. Are you thinking of Narnia? Was Jesus Christ a lion? Please don't. God damn it! My greed ruined it! Shit! Catch a glimpse of an ethereal peglet. It appears to be some kind of echo of its former self or of yourself. Approach the echo. The echo imbues you with its remaining power before fading away. Shit. 
In the woods you find a clearing with a strange tree directly in the center. There's a nook in the truck with brambles twisting wildly out of it. If we shake the tree, an egg falls. If we reach into the nook, we get a bramble ball. Bramble is a debuff. We can reach into the tree. Reach into the nook with an overgrown rampant brambles. You get some minor scratches, but you get a bramble level two. It's stuck to your hands. Hopefully it comes in handy. Uh, at this point, left or right don't matter. I screwed up. We don't get an elite fight because I was greedy. You were into history books, the Civil War books as a kid? Weird. I mean, cool. More options, sure. One of them turned into a wizard later in the series. I mean, I, anyway, with wizards is pro of me. I'm into wizards. Like, I read, um... <sighs> God damn it. The Crondor. I didn't... Ah, I remembered on my own. The Crondor book series. I read all those. Well, probably not all of those. I'm sure there's a lot of Crondor books. But I was into, uh... Into the Crondor stuff. And, of course, I was into... The... The Dungeon Dragons books that take place in... The ones that have Raceland. Uh, the... The, Tori the Tale of Two Brothers. Those... Oh, I read the Dark Rising series. Dragonlance, thank you. Yes, I read the Dragonlance books. So, Crondor books, Dragonlance books. I enjoyed, um... Oh, wait, no, not the Dark Rising. His Dark Materials. I enjoyed His Dark Materials. These are all my childhood books. Whenever you evade an attack, convert two pegs to an exclamation mark. I don't have a lot of money. Which is kind of a bummer. Hmm. Ah, either way. Maybe we'll find something nice in the shop. Alas, though. Mercedes Lackeys. Valdemar was your book series you ate up. I have never heard of those. I mean... Would love to remove some orbs. And then at some point as a kid, I got into like... The joy became finding weird stuff that I didn't know what it was in the bookstore and picking it up, and if I liked it, finding out if they had more of it. That's how the Cold Fire trilogy became a weirdly ingrained part of my life. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Fantasy, special powers, magic, griffins, gay fun boy and boys. The good stuff. Try to read all the Oz books. Those were a trip. I've never read those. But I do hear they get weird. Everyone has a fantasy series seemingly only they read. Given how many fantasy series are out there, it's, it's very possible. Yours was Sabriel. For me, it was it was the Cold Fire trilogy, which are on my bookshelf next to me. I could show you those books if you want. One of my favorite concepts there, which is the fantasy story that's secretly a sci-fi story. It takes place in like a magical medieval setting, but you find out almost inconsequentially, like it's not important. 
But it's actually like an alien planet, and just because of how fucked up everything was, they kind of got knocked back to a medieval level. In the distant past, they flew there in spaceships. The real crux of the story is uh, the planet has some kind of passive effect. So when human beings dream, their dreams manifest as a physical form. So, you know, common boogie stories, boogeyman stories become real. Sounds interesting and fucked up. Yeah, that was basically the series, was interesting and fucked up. I haven't read it in a long time, so no guarantees it holds up, but... If you're interested... I'm pretty sure Cold Fire Trilogy would get you there if you googled it. Trilogy... Yep, the Cold Fire Trilogy. Black Sun Rising, True Night Falls, and Crown of Shadows. I named many a Dungeons & Dragons character after characters from that book series. Tarant, most prominently. The angsty vampire in the book series. Doubles the amount of spin faction. Although, we have some spin faction, but maybe we want to lean into spin faction. We're applying Bramble, we're applying spin faction. Maybe I'll, maybe more. Maybe more spin faction. We could add some transferency. But why not double the amount of spin faction? Nah, let's do transparency. We haven't done this one before. Well, we have, but not recently. See, that kind of dream, Mighty Odin, would be very bad for you in the worlds of the Cold Fire trilogy. A trilogy written by Celia S. Friedman, I am told by Google. Perfected, reactant, plus 15 damage from bombs. Ba da ba, ba da ba. A somewhat weak floor one. All right, all right, some spin faction for everybody. Everybody. There's only one person here. Let's get what you get for listening to Warhammer while sleeping. Suck on brambles, loser. I assume that money that I passed through got upgraded. You hope? Pocket the transparency, that's not gonna help us. Hit the refresh, damn it! <laughs> that explains it. I, I mentioned uh, a long time ago, but like, last year, when I was like, in and out of the hospital in December and January, like, the worst I've ever been in terms of being sick, when I was like, just kind of stuck in bed, all day and delirious with fever. I was just watching lore videos about stupid uh, Warhammer just because people talk about it. I'm like, I don't know what anyone's talking about. I should learn about this. I don't think I learned anything, but it was definitely uh, an interesting thing to watch while dying.
Roundabout. Crit attack is fired backwards from behind the enemy. Applies exploitable. On crit spin faction two. I mean, this one's new and it does something we 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 haven't seen. Well, I mean, we've seen, but like, it does a debuff. Damn it. We'll take roundabout. Upgrade you for sure. Bombs become weak magnets, refreshes, and crits become strong magnets. It's full strength for four seconds, degrades over time. Every orb will fire a copy of itself in the opposite of the aim direction. We can only aim in four directions. Orbs get plus two, plus four, while you have any negative status effects. And we get a squirrel. Hmm. You want to start listening to some of the Black Library, like the Horus Heresy, but man, audiobooks are expensive. Check your library. Libraries might have a, a policy where you get to do, kind of bring out audiobooks. Libraries are buck wild these days. You won't believe the kind of stuff you can get from libraries. You want crack? You want methamphetamines? You want an audiobook? You want a Blu-ray? You want black tar heroin? Check your library, man. Yeah, sure. You want a Mickey Mouse waffle maker? I got my mom a Mickey Mouse waffle maker for her birthday last year. I've had Mickey Mouse waffles. Mine has Xbox games and EV chargers. I bet there are video games at mine too. But my local library is still in the process of causing the town to lose its fucking mind. Like, so many town policies have happened as a direct result of, like, we're gonna remodel the library! And, like, they went millions of dollars over budgets, and the town panics, and, like, new policies came into effect that caused new fees for landlords, which got passed on to the renters. All for this fucking library that's like, we want a whole new wing! It's like, the library was fine without it, fuck you! Some of them let you sign up online, you can check out audio- yeah! You should check and see if they do, uh, audiobooks, my dad. That, or how do you consider our sponsor for today, Audible! Boop, 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 no, I wish. Come on, Audible, reach out. What's going on, Migs? You had Mickey Mouse Pancake Maker forever ago? Little bop boop bop boop. What? Are you saying that an Amazon-owned platform is not good toward their... their people? You must be confused. You're talking crazy talk. Member only pricing, you just check out a member's card from the library. That is odd and funny. Oh, you big jerk. I have you now. Come on, Magnet. <laughs> yeah, I haven't visited my library in a while either. Years back when I was in a different apartment, 
I live down the street from like a really small library, like real tiny little place. It was like one room. But I spent a lot of that particular summer in that apartment where my day was basically wake up, walk down the street to the library, take out a book, walk in the opposite direction until I reached a little lake and just like sit at the lake and read. Which was pretty sweet. It was a nice, nice way to go about uh, a summer. Just reading nice books on a lake edge. Walking distance from a little lake and a library. It was pretty nice. All right, if we want a min-max, we could do an elite. A chest. A shop. An elite. A shop, a chest. So left seems to be the best. It's nice, like, uh, it's, it's, uh, definitely a trade-off in many ways, like, I live in the woods for the most part. If I want to go to, like, interesting things, it's usually a drive. But we have nice little towns nearby. So I can drive a short distance for some interesting stuff, longer distance for, like, modern conveniences that everyone expects. But at the very least, I can walk into the woods. Matt Berry has been robbed! Like, really? Or... If anything ever happens to Matt Berry, I'll be devastated. That man needs to live forever. And also marry me. I'm sorry. Oh, you meant robbed because of the Amis. To the left, to the left. Let's not, let's not tempt fate too much here. Like, being in a city is pretty nice. A lot of cool things. But it's nice just being out in nature. Unless that stupid idiot from the bear. Which stupid idiot from the bear? Because my favorite, favorite uh, celebrity chef is on the bear, and no one says anything bad about him, or I lose my mind. Maddie Matheson is a saint. Canal Town, you're half in, half out. That's kind of like where I am. It's like in the woods, but it's also part of like a series of colleges. So there's the college town stuff going on. Not a lot of woods. I haven't gone fishing this summer. That's that's my one thing I need to find some time for. Take a little walk over to a lake and just do a little fishing. I was supposed to go when I was back home. You love Maddie? You would die for Maddie? Good. Maddie Matheson's my spirit animal. I fucking love Maddie Matheson. I would like to have money for the shop. I might I might avoid upgrading. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid upgrading. You're suburban? 20 30 minutes away from an urban city center? A lot of parks, greenery, rivers, lakes. Yeah, it depends on where and what kind of suburb. Like Long Island is is the bad kind of suburbs for the most part. Like, not all of it's really, really bad, but, like, my family's in kind of, like, a middling bad when it comes to, like, suburb. But, like, if you've seen the pictures I posted online, you could see, like, we have some woods behind our house. It's not that bad. But Long Island's home to, like, Levittown. Levittown is hell. You don't, you don't want to go there. 
Floppy, thank you for that raid. How you doing? How was your stream? Ooh, Black Myth. Everyone's been saying good things about it. Are you liking it? Hello there. Playing some Peglin. Today we did Rift Wizard 2. I was doing challenge runs in that. After that, we did some challenge runs in Dome Keeper. And now I'm enjoying not challenge runs in uh, Peglin. Because Peglin's a lot of fun. Now to poison all these suckers. You love the story and everything about it, except the boss fights are really hard. I would probably very much enjoy Black Myth. It's something I do want to play at some point. Ow! Ow! Long Island's nice in pockets. Good food? Yeah, I like... I was saying to Jimmy, uh, but while I was home, uh, out in... <laughs> Babylon! In Babylon, uh, a theater that's been closed for years reopened recently. South Bay Cinemas. And on Tuesdays, movies are six dollars, so I was going to the theater with my family while I was home. And that was a lot of fun. Babylon's a nice town. Love to watch me play Black Myth Wukon. I'll pick it up sooner or later. Ideally when there's a sale. You got a notification on the community app telling people to watch out for their pets? Good lord. Not saying it's like not worth full price, mind you. It's just like the summer just ended, and the summer is uh I work at I work at a college. So when summer happens, typically not a lot of work at the college for me. So I don't make a I don't make a lot of money over the summer. And I feel the pain of that when September rolls around. I want none of these things, and I'm not gonna spend any money because the shop's coming up very soon. And I want to spend money in the shop, baby. Which means I want to go left for the chest. <sighs> How greedy do I want to try and be? I could try and get that money. <gasps> oh, come on. I shouldn't have been greedy. The greed. The greed! God damn it. Painful. You're going the wrong way. There we go. Yes, that's the direction. Damn it. There we go. Come on. Damn. New orders, Agent 47. Realize, realize, real. <laughs> it, it forgot the lies at the end. Is lies one of the forbidden words?
What a throw. It's time for poison. Ow! That sound is harsh. It's like multiple things going off at once, I think. Yeah, it's definitely a, a multiplicative error. A bug. Like other sound effects, normal volume. But that's multiple things going off at once. Dead man walking here. I will take none of them. I'll I'll heal. Saving my money for the shop though. Boop. Do 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 two shops, yeah. All attacks get plus zero plus. Well, first off. Heal one every time the board's refreshed. Attacks apply blind to enemies. This could be a nice one. Only hits bombs, crits, and refreshes. It's small. This orb is affected by Spinesse two times over. Uh, as much as I like getting these, they are not on brand for applying debuffs to enemies. Never know, you might move and then later on be like, I miss back in, back in old Philadelphia. Distance makes the heart grow fonder. Do, 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 the devil you know. You found out the food you 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 missed was not very good, yeah. Upgrade that money. Nostalgia glasses, yeah. Moving is very expensive. Mr. Grabby Wall's coming. No! Oh, whatever. 170 poison per turn. What the fuck? 
That's your 80 poison per turn. You! 200 poison. Yeah, live in someone's walls until you have squatters' rights. It's simple stuff, really. Uh, let's not spend any more money. Tax game plus two plus zero for every exclamation on the board. Every 11 monies triggers a crit. Activating multiple crits increases damage per peg. Crit damage. Regular damage. Every 11 monies triggers a crit. Yeah, I'll take a shop followed by a chest, please. <laughs> please. Well, fuck with me. <coughs> do, do. On discard, gain Belusion equal to two times the discarded orb's crit damage. Or it gets an additional crit. Heal 10 for every 100 coins collected. Heal 6 when reloading. You know, I'm discarding all my stones. Getting Belusion's not bad. Should have removed a, a ball, but... You live, you learn. There we go. When applying negative status effects to an enemy, increase the amount applied by one. That's excellent. <coughs> Very on brand. Very, very on brand. You stumble into a strange mirror with shadows flickering in the reflection. You're drawn closer and closer until your nose is nearly touching the glass. The shadows are speaking language you've never heard before, but you understand their offer. Duplicate all the orbs. That'd be rough. Random orb, please don't be a pebble. You feel an ah, boo. Anything would have been better. If we were playing as the other character, doubling our deck would have been awesome. Because he's all about big decks. But this character's not really a big duck. A big deck person. This character is more of a motion of the ocean kind of character, you know what I'm saying? All right, on hitting this dude, we applied bramble, blind, and poison. Nice. More money, please. Thank you. Yeah. Go 
do 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 All right, it's dead. Upgrade. Upgrade you. Up bomb supply spin affection one when damaging enemies. Prevent the first time you take lethal damage. Whenever you lose health, deal seven times that amount of damage to all enemies. Oh, this is tricky because this is very good. That's like again on brand for what we're doing. Well, that's very funny, too. We already apply spit infection to a lot of folk. We've had them both before. Ah, uh, we only have one self-damage item in the deck. Let's go with Choke Mod. More on brand. Gotta be kidding me. Come on, I missed all the money? Sleep well, mighty Odin. Sweet dreams. Ba ba. Woo woo. Ba ba. Bo bo. Ba ba. Ba ba. And I'm sad we don't have the every time a refresh happens kind of stuff going on in this deck. <laughs> We'd be cleaning house if we did. Dreams. Uh, upgrade some money for me, please. Well, oh, you could upgrade more than that. Do do do. Come on, come on. There we go. I love that attacks from the back. Very good. So I'm gonna hit one of those refreshes over there. Alright, son. You're already dead. Uh, Gains plus one, plus two for every $28. I already have one of you. I already have one of you. Hmm. Two times the illusion. Tanks, Pierce, upgrade. Well, time for ye old boss fight. Ye old boss fight. Do do. This is one way to open up, I guess. We're gonna kill the thing behind the boss. Not a great opening. 30 damage, Jesus.
This is nice to have early because there's a lot of money when you first get going. Upgrade all that cash. Come on. All right, this is looking pretty good. Good, good, yes. 230 damage per turn. Gonna go ahead and trash that. Just because at 34 health, I can get shot by a ballista one more time. Can't afford any more than that. Keep that ballusion high. Well, that was a bad one. Trash that. Good work. Good. Jesus. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. All attacks get plus one, plus two, plus two, but you have minus one orb discards. Ramley adds two rare orbs to your deck, then Ramley upgrades orbs five times. All orbs get morbid, but the board contains half as many refreshes. The board will contain ten additional refreshes, but each refresh only refreshes eight percent of the pegs. Hmm. Honestly, just because of the magnet, more refreshes means the ball going nuts. It's going to fly all over the place. Castle complete. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, look at all those refreshes. Yeah. I wouldn't mind some refresh effects. I think that'd be a nice follow-up to what we got going on now. Upgrade this guy. All right, map wise, a shop wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But at the same time, we could do chest, elite, chest, chest. And at that point, if we want one last store, we have the option for it. Or another elite. I think I might go for this nice string here. What's that money?
Haha. Do do do. Do 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 do. Activated refreshes and crits contribute to damage. Every shot fired has a 2x illusion chance to trigger a crit. You're immune to attack damage while reloading. Uh, either of these. We have a lot of illusion going on. <clears throat> Extra crits would be great. Uh, having those contribute to damage, we have a lot of those going on, so... That's the one we're getting. Uh, left or right doesn't really matter. So now we want to go right. Yeah, magnets. Trash you for some illusion. <laughs> Trash you. Come on, magnets. damage, get some illusion going on. Magnet, help! Help, Magnet! Trash you for more illusion. Didn't upgrade any money. Worthless. This, like, dome is the worst for this particular setup. This orb is affected by Muskirkle, Spinesse, and Balance, Balance, two times. <coughs> to the right. Any story reason given for why the Peglins seek the bottom of the cave? That's a good question. I don't think I've ever really stopped to think if this game had a story before. The answer to your question is I don't know. The desire for loot, probably. He's getting closer. He's scooting. The ending seems to be just, it's over, lol, which is fine. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have much of, like, an over- Oh, no, no. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Incredible. Enemies don't get their extra turns for your reload. The elite, please. Do, 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 do. 
Ah, uh, Lanky's here. Click on Langster. Click on e, e, e Loomster. Yes, it's doing another lap on the slide. Love that Loomster has his own bag of tricks. Spell song cycle. That's not one I've read, but I remember my friends being into it. I was too busy with my Crondor books. I didn't even find out that Crondor had like video games associated with it until years later. I still haven't played any of those games. Strong attraction to refreshes and crits. Weak attraction to bombs and pegs. Effect is full strength for three seconds. Decreases afterwards. Don't want to upgrade anything. I'll save my money just in case. Whenever you would lose health, reduce the amount by one. Attacks apply two transferency to all enemies. Every three times a crit's triggered, gain spinesse. I dig that. Chest, chest. Yeah, they're they're looking for the Super Bowl they dropped at the beginning of the game. It's down there somewhere. Every shot is a crit when fired below fifty percent health. All right, if we hit this chest, we get an elite. If we hit this chest, we get a shot. I could honestly go either way. Let's see if we can use that sh that light magnet effect. Nope, no light. No. Oh, oh. Uh, looks like we're doing a shot. Flying enemies are attacked horizontally for additional damage. Uh, left or right doesn't really matter to me. Hit no bombs. That's good. Do, do. A dark obelisk looms before you. It hums with a tantalizing power. You could feel its connection to the earth. At this point, losing pebbles doesn't matter anymore. We're at the end of the game. We're not getting rid of them. I will pray for its power. The power of the obelisk flows into you, coalescing as the new obelisk in your satchel. You bastards again. Good work. Trash some pebbles here. Plus one, plus two for each pebble in your deck. Attack all enemies. Bramble that loser. Enjoy the poison losers. and take them. Whoa. 
Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Uh, it really doesn't matter what I do. We're going one way. Choices aren't a thing here. Ah, uh, but didn't take any damage. There we go. Felt wrong not taking that damage. Do, 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 do. You just barely notice an elongated figure lurking in the shadows. You hear an oddly alluring voice in your head. Do you crave power, little Beglin? Would you like to make a deal? Give away half my health for a special relic? Sure! Steal one health from the selected enemy for every five pegs hit. What's the worst that could happen? You feel a low chuckle as a long arm emerges from the shadows to hand you an unpolished gem. Stars dance on the edge of your vision as lightheadedness hits you suddenly, but you feel an incredible new power and a new hunger. Something's awakened inside. Oh fuck, I should have looked at the boss first. Still upon a mysterious altar, you feel yourself pulled towards it. As you near it, you realize you're, you're holding out potential offerings. One orb in each hand. Well, a pebble or a pebble. Here you go. You place the pebble on the altar, but it sinks right into the solid stone slab. As your offering disappears, you feel your other hand grow warm and realize your other pebble is now level two. We ditched one pebble and upgraded another. I guess that's fine. And here in the Haglin lands, what could I have gotten? That would have been nice. I'm fine with what I got. Alright, we want to target... The blue one, I think, is the healer. Let's immediately get a little Belusion going on our, in our favor. We should be able to, like, restore health pretty readily. I think I'm targeting the one I want to target. Carry it. There you go, yeah. Bring us back up to full health, please. Good. Oh. Yeah, it's whenever multiple things are healed at the same time, we get that horrible sound. There we go. We can basically get the full health every turn. Don't mind me, just panic all that fouring out of the boss fight. Yeah, it's stacking sound effects. Down goes that one, which means no more loud healing noises. Go for purple next. Four, eight. Too tired to cat, right? 
You sweepy. No! I wasn't done getting more health. Really need this to stick around a little bit longer. Oh. Please miss. Please miss. No! God damn it. It was so close. I wouldn't have taken the 50 health thing had I looked down and noticed which boss we were fighting. Three hit points away. I was slightly off. One better throw would have kept me alive. What time is it? 12.30? I'm very hungry. But the runs are somewhat quick. We'll do one more. That way we've had two runs of everything. We had two Rift Wizards, two Dome Keepers, and now we'll have two Peggles.